Hi, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I hope you guys are doing great, doing wonderful. I am doing wonderful. Um, today was a long day. That time is wrong. It's 5.30, not 4.30. I don't know what I was thinking. So I didn't think I was going to make it to Sam's. Um, I've been planning to go to Sam's, I think, for two weeks now. And I really wanted to go to get the ginger ale. I'll see if I can screenshot it and put it up on the screen. The seasonal... Uh, Canada Dry, I believe. They didn't have any. I asked like two associates, maybe three. Um, they did not have any. I looked and walked back and forth. And they also did not have my Ocean Spray, which I got that in a different Sam's too. That has the variety pack of the regular cranberry, apple cranberry, and the grape cranberry. Oh. So I was going to double up on both of those because those are my favorite. The family loves those ginger ale, the seasonal ones, the red and the purple. So I don't know, y'all. I was real disappointed because I told her, I said, I don't live right down the street. I was hoping to get some. So anyway, um, the day was a really long day. Trail took me down there. Um, we had a trip to the ER. Everybody is fine. Uh, Jason had a dizzy spell today. You okay, babe? Mm -hmm. And he is doing better now. You take your medicine? What you, you just got a word? No. Oh, okay. But he's doing better. So today has been a long day. So I didn't think I was gonna make it the same. And I'm happy I did. Um, I think I'm going to add this to the other hauls. Just link it together. So let's get started. I needed some chili powder oh and these are good y'all these tortillas these come from sam's and you get two big boxes of them and i meant to go down the aisle in sam's and i forgot so i can just order it online but i'd rather get it at the store because all that shaking around i think breaks the chips up but these are really good they're like seven dollars for two big bags um at the end of the video i'm going to talk about trina um she messed to talk about freezing rice and the step to do it is really easy so trina asked me she touched base with me and she said hope um make sure you don't use your onions that you vacuum seal and did you see it on peggy and don's video and i said yes i saw it and i threw those away um today because i was clearing out some space for the freezer so I said, yeah, I saw it, and I was going to go back to Sam's and get another bag and just put them in the freezer. Um, I did email someone, I think it's foodsaver.com. I see if I can screenshot her email, and she said, yeah, you cannot unless you cook the onions beforehand. Um, vacuum seal them. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that or talk through at the end. Okay, I got some chili powder. I got the variety pack. I like the fall one, so I got this one. The apple pie, pine wonderland, and berry, berry, merry, and bright. So sometimes they sell just the apple or just the pine or whatever, um, but I wanted all three because you get tired of the same scent. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wanted to try this Weber caramelized onion. And we got some more of the Angus cheeseburgers. And I didn't get any of the chicken sandwiches they like because they only like the spicy. And I got the Mrs. Freshly Jumbo Honey Buns. You only can get these in store and at the Raleigh store. So they don't have them um, at that last sales we went to in Durham. And then we got this instead of getting the fresh one. So I know it's probably better to get the fresh ones. But they have the muffins. And they have the chocolate, the banana nut, the wild berry. And I know it may seem like a lot of um, unnecessary stuff. But some of these stuff is our favorites. And then some of this stuff I can't order online. So that's why I went ahead and got it. It's not the healthiest, but we have everything else already. Okay, so I have some chicken nuggets. We like these. Some onions. Some Eggo waffles. JJ decided just went through that box really quickly that i just got from walmart so i got them two of the 24 pack i believe and the cashier accidentally ruined this up four times extra y'all and she took off three and still left the extra one on so i got charged for this twice so i was really um disappointed in that i tried to call the store back you know how 
customer service is sometimes. Nobody answered the phone. So anyway, I got some of these steam table pans. These are the half ones. I've been eyeing these for a while because I know a lot of people said these are great for like freezer meals, even though I don't have any space for freezer meals, but they'll be good for Thanksgiving. They're only like $7. Yes, baby. I got some of these Georgia smoked sausages. JJ and I like these. Um, we got the hot last time and they didn't have any hot so we had to get them out so i hope these are good i got the three pack of bacon they're going in the freezer so a lot of stuff was like just add-ons to like if we couldn't go back out to the store or it didn't feel safe going back out to the store um like the cheese the bacon and stuff like that um i got some more of the mexican style cheese and sharp cheddar cheese the eggnog, I seen this at Walmart the other day. So Sam's and Walmart both have these. I can't remember if it was the same size or not, but it was like $4 and something. I got them the oatmeal cream pies for them because I don't care for these. And then this is something I've been eyeing and hoping to get. My mom gets these and she said they are good. And these were on an instant savings. So um, I wanted to, I was hoping they had some and they did. So this is like only $7, I believe, for eight pies. I probably should have called my mama to see if she wanted some. And then the Glade Pine Wonderland. You can get a s different ones and I wanted this one. I got this 30 bags of um, chips and everybody likes these, these. I'm starting to like these. Josiah loves these. Yeah, so I thought this was the best one for us. I got the hefty plates. I think this may be the last time, and I have an extra one in the stockpile. The last time I get the styrofoam plates, I'm gonna get the paper, paper plates. I've just been cheap. Cause these are like $12.88 and the other one's almost like $20, I believe. But they didn't have the ones that I wanted today. So I got the two pack of the Italian mild ground sausage they didn't have no water y'all members mark water and they didn't have no toilet paper or paper towels so i thought online they were fibbing about not having none in stock but they really didn't because i was able to find some the other times when i went but they didn't have any um i got some milk today i didn't know we had space to get to i should have got to because jason just put it Oh, okay, and his smoothie. Okay, so then I got some cinnamon toast crunch center dust. I've been seeing this for a while, and I thought I'd go ahead and uh, pick it up for like French toast. And they had like two special Christmas. I should took a picture. Two special Christmas cereals, but they the two that went with me they weren't jumping for it so i said all right i'm not gonna worry about it if y'all don't want it i got the waffle fries Catrell wanted these they are good um the smucker's strawberry jam i don't trust this in transit so i'd rather get it in person but this is good um the crescent rolls i just got some for the holidays and they are on an instant savings you was thirsty but that was rude these were on the Insta saving, so I wanted to go ahead and get these. I think they were like six or seven. I put the prices. And then the cinnamon rolls as well were on the instant savings. You get 32 in here, the cinnamon, and then I got some hot sauce. Finally, remember to get some hot sauce. And oh, two more things. Then, guys, I got some Kool Aid jammers. I was trying to get decided to get Capri Suns, but he likes these better. Um, and then some Power Aid and i got my coke so i really wanted to stock up on more drinks but i really got sidetracked and disappointed when they didn't have my ocean spray and <laughs> when they didn't have the ginger ale so the seasonal ginger ale so i was disappointed in that and that's it that's it for today so guys um did you hit your goal of what you wanted to um pick up by election day or just pick up so far let me know down in the comments. Oh, let me show you the flower. Hi, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. I should have. I just finished brushing my teeth. Put some chapstick on. I'm doing wonderful. Um, I'm doing good. Okay. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing good. I was getting ready to go to the store, and I thought that I would... 
to see how you guys are doing. Um, today is election day. I didn't plan on going to the store today, but I didn't want to do Instacart and spend more when I just want a couple of things. Um, I did go to Sam's. I don't know if I'm gonna make one big video. I should ask you guys sometimes in a poll, a poll on the community tab or several small videos. Maybe we'll make one big one and do a lot of editing with the talking. I don't know. Um, I don't want to go out at least for the next couple of days, um, or whenever, how long it takes. So the blessing about it is that, okay, so, um, if you, if I put this at the beginning of the video or however I piece it, um, Jason had to go to the ER yesterday. He's okay. Um... I think, trail, remember, not trail, that's my oldest son. Remember in one of my videos, and I kind of mixed like different medicine videos within a haul. And I mentioned how JJ, not JJ, oh my God, I'm saying all my kids' name. Jason would get dizzy spells. And um, sometimes he would get in the morning and I know his mom would have um, dizzy spells, and he didn't even know that he was talking to her. And this has been going on maybe a year and a half. I don't know, two years or not. So that's why I picked up that stuff that is not Sudafed, but compared to Sudafed. And um, anyway, it was real bad yesterday. So it started the night before, Sunday night. And my chair is up there because I need to put it together. It's upside down. And, um, make it quick, y'all, because he's okay. And I'm glad, so he has, um, what's it called? I can't even think the name of it, but it's called, y'all. Vertigo. I think he has vertigo, but they referred him to the ENT nephrologist. Um, he got a CAT scan done yesterday. He's going to go do a follow-up on Friday um, with his PCP and somewhere else he's referred to. Oh, physical therapy. So they can help him with physical therapy with that. So it kind of just went away. And for a minute, we were thinking, a minute, we were thinking, is this a symptom of coronavirus? Because I did see that dizziness can be. And I also heard that sometimes African-Americans have different symptoms. Not that we're totally different type of people. Um, different symptoms than other people where they, we may say, oh, we just don't feel like ourselves or something like that. Heard it several times. Um, so I was thinking that because he had a co-worker that had a sore throat. And... Um, but he got tested and he's negative. So, anyway, y'all, he's fine now. It was like night and day. And it didn't scare me. It didn't worry me or anything. Um, but he's always a strong one. And I'm always, I'm strong too. But he's always um, the one where um, he doesn't have to go to the ER or get procedures done or anything like that. So, um. I didn't realize it really bothered me until, I mean, of course it bothered me, but I'm really, sometimes I can be dramatic <laughs> or I'm emotional and um, really in tune with my feelings. So, but I can pull the strength from somewhere and I was fine. And then he, he, um, went roll he rolled out with the wheelchair someone came and got him to do his cat scan and just tears silently just fell and I wasn't like a boohoo crying well it was at the end but I was like well, why in the world but he's all right he's all right I had to get on him because he went down the steps um really quickly so he was getting so dizzy he was nauseated I probably can count on one hand how many times I heard Jason ever throw up the 17 years we've been together um, so, and for him to be so dizzy. So if he wants to go anywhere where she doesn't go anywhere except work, um, I take him. So today he's working from home 
And that's the blessing of it to say all that, y'all. Um, he's working from home and then trails off. So at least the next day or two, everybody's in the house. Um, anyway, so I'm going to Walmart and Aldi to do just a couple things. Um, and I should be done. I should be done. I think I made great, good progress on um, all the preps done over the last couple of weeks, months and weeks. Um, someone did ask me a question, which is okay. And I know it was going to come one day because I've been on YouTube for a minute. Um, what does my husband do? I, um, I'm going to explain this in a minute. What does my husband do? And um, I kind of knew why they asked if I wasn't sure. But Jason's a private person, and he probably doesn't mind me sharing the other part. Um, I don't want to share. And the job he does doesn't need to be shared um, exactly what he does. But I felt like it was asked because of probably what I was spending in preps. But Hope paid 90% of those preps. I sacrificed a lot, including a new couch that Josiah has messed up. I sacrificed a lot for those preps. And with us anyway, what his is mine and what mine is his. And um, now I feel good about what I did, but it was a lot. It was a big sacrifice. I wanted my hair braided. I wanted to go on trips. I wanted to take my kids here or there or do this. It was a sacrifice. I want to thank you guys for watching, supporting, because that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in my preps. So, guys, let me go to the store. I done took up most of your time. Some people ain't going to like the extra rambling, um, but... They're going to have to find another channel. <laughs> Y'all took me 40 years to be comfortable. And to just tell people, you like me for who I am. Or not. Anyway, y'all. Bye. Hi, hopefuls. I am back from Aldi and from Walmart, and I have specific items that I wanted to pick up. I had a list. I did veer off the list just a tad, but not much, um, just to fill in the gaps of items that we have been stocking our working food prepper pantry. So I think that I'm at a really, we are at a really good point, and um we don't need to go out of the house. Only thing I did not get was salad mix and I knew I should have, but I was like, you know, the trail goes to work. We can tell him to pick it up when he goes because Jason's and I have been eating the salad mix. So I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Okay, so let me show you what I picked up. If you're new, welcome. My name is Hope and I do different types of videos uh, from DIYs, from home decor, seasonal decor, tablescapes, um, parties, small parties and events um, for my family, sometimes for others. And um, yeah, so welcome y'all. So I went down this um, rabbit hole of prepping and I food prepping and emergency prepping and I really enjoy it um, so, so much. I guess you guys can tell. And so, again, this is kind of a mod podge, but this is, again, the things that I didn't have that I wanted to get. And then I decided we were going to have hot dogs today. So, I went on a list today. I didn't think I was going to end up going <clears throat> anywhere today, but I didn't really want to go anywhere past today or this afternoon. So, I got up and out, and I got the Jumbo Franks. I do have some already in the freezer, but um, these are for... Today, we're going to have hot dogs with fries, um, coleslaw, chili, and I wish I had more space in my freezer, y'all, for, like, 
buns and stuff like that, but I don't. So, anyway. So, I picked up some more of these. I do have the big bottles, but usually when I end up using one, I just like to go ahead and get another one. So, I use these two all the time in black pepper. I got some classic coleslaw. I didn't have, I did get from Sam's, and you guys will see this haul. I may put it all together. Um, some chips yesterday, and I think I have a few in the trunk, but I don't have a lot. So, I did get the boys some ranch um, tortilla chips and the regular nacho. I probably should have got two more bags. I got two of the restaurant style tortilla chips, although we do like the chips from Sam's, and I can just go and order that. And you get quite much for like seven dollars and some change. I should have got it yesterday, but I got sidetracked, y'all. Um, the red grapes, and I went to Sam's. The sour cream and onion chips, I got two of those. And they haven't been going through chips as quickly, so that's a good thing. And barbecue potato chips. And these have like a expiration date of February uh, 2021, January for these. The tortilla chips January. Um, one of you guys gave me a tip with the tortilla chips, put them back in the oven to refresh in them um, if they're a little stale. So try that, guys, if you're like trying to stock up on that and still have your nacho taco salad or something night. Okay, y'all, I got the 2% milk. I just got some from Sam's and they may be almost done with the other one, but we should be good on milk. I wish I had space to freeze it. I remember my dad used to freeze milk all the time. But, um, I need, yeah, I need a super big freezer. Get rid of all the little ones. Um, but anyway, I got two of the hot dog buns for today. I forgot to get sour cream at Sam's yesterday. I like their Daisy tube sour cream. My family loves sour cream. I did buy some powder sour cream, and I did get several questions on can you freeze sour cream. Guys, you cannot freeze sour cream. It doesn't keep well at all. I remember when I was couponing back in the day, and I would, um, it was a couple of sales. I may have tried it twice. A couple of really good sales um, on sour cream, and it just came out watery and clumpy. So, I went ahead and got three because um, usually sour cream, it doesn't go bad super quick. My family goes through it. Yeah, it lasts at least to December. So, after that point, um, you worry about that then. Okay, y'all. So, then I got some ham. I didn't have any of um, deli ham. I think I have some that I put in the vacuum seal bag, but I haven't picked up any recently. So I went ahead and picked that up for sandwiches. I think I had one more and a half of the craft that I got from Sam. So I went ahead and picked this up. I didn't get any yesterday because they just haven't been eating a lot of sandwich meat. And I probably will regret it, the big bulk craft. And then I got three things of the grits. I did contemplate yesterday when I went to Sam's if I was going to go ahead and get another big three pack of the grits, but I can also order it, order it if I need to. So I went ahead and just got um, three of these grits. Like if my mom needs one, she probably has some. Um, and to replace what we already eaten. I got two of the toaster tarts. I was trying not to spend too much in there. So I should have went ahead and got three. And I said, it don't matter how many you get, Hope. They're going to keep going back, back, and back to these. So... I may have one more in the trunk. I'm not sure, but I just said two is enough. I picked up another cheese meal to replace the one that we made. We call it hamburger dip, y'all. But it's just Rotel ground beef, or you can use turkey with this. And we only used half of it, but I just went ahead and picked up another one to replace it. And is that it for Aldi? That's it for Aldi. I think that was like $38. And I know it's chips and stuff like that, but I have not picked up any chips. If you've been watching every single haul, I put a playlist down below. I haven't been picking up chips. Okay, so I like um, this Jiffy Honey Cornbread. I picked up, I think, six the other day. They're 67 cents at my store. I think the regular Jiffy is 47 cents. I was hoping it was 47 cents too because they had a big um, display of the regular. And I was like, no, I think it's 67. So 
one of you all asked me um have i tried or was it good and i was like yes 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 we had it the other night so i went back and i picked up 10 boxes y'all of the um honey jiffy cornbread and like if my mom wants some i can give her some and plus usually when i'm making this cornbread um i make two at a time two boxes at a time um for a little just a little a little pan of cornbread i did find the funfetti um vanilla frosting i got the funfetti um cake mix the other day so i was glad they put that out i got jason his um well everybody drinks these sugar-free drink mix and then we've been having i'm sorry y'all that's not great english um we have for dinner i think dirty rice one that because these are so quick and easy and then from sam's so I went ahead and got another one to replace it. Well, two. And then I got the jambalaya zatarans. And I picked up at Sam's. You can order online. I think in the store too. I'm not sure. No, I think it's only online. The little boxes of the jambalaya. It's not but five something. You get four in a box on Sam's.com. And we made two boxes the other day. And it's only two boxes left. So I picked that up to replace that. I got the big thing of eggs. Well, this thing of eggs. I wanted to get the big thing of eggs, but I didn't know if I had space in the refrigerator for it because I already have one of these in the refrigerator. So I really wanted to get that because it won but $3.63, which I thought was pretty good for 60 eggs. This was $2.14 at my store. And I got the apple cranberry. Um, sparkling drink. I did plan on getting the Welch's four pack yesterday at Aldi, but I got not Aldi at Sam's, but I got sidetracked and I'm not a fan of the white grape. So they give you two white grapes and two regular grapes. So um, I just left it there. Then lastly, y'all, um, I was on this the other day and I said, I thought about it. Sometimes I try to rationalize things. <laughs> And I'll come back and be like, do I really want this? But I, I did. I kept thinking about this. And then I knew it was the beginning, the end of the month. Everybody got paid. Everybody their mama was in the store. So I was like, okay, I hope it's still there. I went back and I couldn't recall how many they had. Anyway, y'all, they had one down low for me to um, get because I was a little upset because it was a high. I mean, high, high, high. And for some reason, Walmart doesn't have anybody working back there in the back in the garden center. I don't know if they cut in positions. Well, I do know because Trail said they are. So, it's nobody back there in the back, which I think is kind of crazy. But that's the times that we're living in. It's kind of crazy when they need more people. Have your Walmart stopped wiping off the carts? Because I know my Aldi has stopped wiping off the carts. Now, um, all of them have stopped. I know Aldi stopped first and then Walmart. Walmart, I noticed next. Um, I think they were almost the last ones. But anyway, y'all, this filled up some gaps. We should be good. Okay, guys, so my Amazon pantry order came today. This is my second order i had this stuff in my cart for a minute now so i'm just going to add this to another video because it's not that many items in there it just came and what else i wanted to say oh so something's going on with the internet today i'm gonna go check it one more time i wanted to get this video videos out today but i probably have to wait i have to wait i don't know what's going on like some shenanigans on the list today okay y'all so i got some of these chewy dips i got two of these i think i just had one at one time and then something i wanted went out of stock and so that's why i got two of those jj likes those and then the main reason for this or two of the main reasons was um to get these little pringles so jason loves pringles i will eat them but i'm not a big fan so i got him the original um, three packs sour cream and cheddar cheese. I think everybody likes them. And he likes that's this little snake snack. So I got him two of those, and I think guys they were only like two dollars. They weren't a lot. I got the boys some of these mots, um assorted fruits. They go through these really quickly. I know that Sam's may have one similar 
and BJ's, but I just got these because they go through them so quick that I don't even care to get them. Plus, they had enough candy the past couple days, but it was already in my shopping cart, and I just hit, just hit, um, buy. <laughs> okay, so then I got the cheeses. Josiah likes these. I went ahead and got these because um, you have the three different choices even though you can get a bigger box at Sam's but this I can't remember how much this was but it wasn't again it was sitting in my cart so I went ahead and got it and I got two of those and that's probably why I didn't get well I did get a lot of snacks at Sam's but I was holding off and I wanted these um growing up I remember having these combos my kids didn't even know what these are um so they have the pizzeria um, the cheddar cheese and, let's see, cheddar cheese, what's the difference in these two? Am I missing something? Cheddar cheese, I don't know y'all, they have two different, two different, maybe it's a type of cheese. That's the only thing I can think of. I got two of these. These were like $2 and something, y'all. So, or were they three? So I got two boxes of those. And if you don't know what combos are, they're like pretzels and then they're like stuffed with um, cheese. See? My kids are like, what is that? I don't know what that is. And that's all I got from Amazon Pantry. Okay guys, so I'm in my garage, it's a little dark. And when you're freezing your flour or your sugar, not sugar, freezing your flour or your rice, you can put the bag that it comes in in the freezer as well. So if you have a big 25 pound, 20 bag, 20, 25 pound, 20 pound, 10, five, whatever, you can put it in the um, freezer. So I already froze this, so you're just gonna put it in there like that, close it. Um, you can leave it in there for, sometimes I did three days. It depends on how big the bag was because it was taking up space. But you guys have recommended, I learned from you all and I learned from reading the book. I think it's Pepper Pantry. I got off of um, Amazon in a year without the grocery store off of Amazon. I'll make sure I put the links down below and either one of those books probably both so you're gonna put it in here you can at minimum minimum of three days you can do a week some people do it up to a week some people may do it more i think i may have had this in a week or more because it was small and i forgot about it so i was digging for something you can also put your beans in here as well so you want to put it in the freezer because it will kill off any bugs they're in processing like weevil eggs um i think that we call weevil eggs <laughs> uh, weevils and you just don't want them to hatch because it may be sitting on your shelf longer so just in case i did not know you guys have taught me that because over the years i would probably buy what a five pound bag of rice and that's about it not a whole lot so when you're storing more, you want to make sure you kill off those bugs or what may be in your flour, your rice, or your beans ahead of time. Okay, so then you're just going to take it out within those three days or four up to a week or however long you leave it in there. You're going to thaw it out and it thaws out really great. It's fine. Even your rice, you may want to wait a day or two i know in my big bags i waited maybe two or three days and i just rotated it so you know it wouldn't be sitting on one side if it was like a small bag like a five pound bag and then some people have recommended to once it thaws out put it back in the freezer for more additional time i did not do that because i did not have the space or the capacity for my freezers to do that um but if you know you're going to buy a freezer, that is the best time to go out <laughs> and get your big bag of rice or flour so you can go ahead and freeze it once it gets to a stable, cold condition, y'all. Now, this size of a bag of flour 
or beans or something like that, I will just put it in a storage container, airtight, food grade, BPA storage container or glass. If you can find glass, glass is best container. Um, you can use water bottles, um, anything like that, or, you know, your, you know, storage containers from the store. Okay. So now if you have a bigger bag of rice, you're going to get a five gallon bucket. Let me show you. Okay. So this is a food grade bucket. I got this one, this particular one from Walmart. Excuse my freezer. I had it for years. And this lid, I think I got from Home Depot. So it's a regular lid. The other lids that I have are gamma lids and you don't necessarily need the gamma lids, but um, they're just easier to screw on and off. So this is the only empty one that I have. And you can put the flour in the buckets like this, make sure it's a uh, food grade bucket, or you can pour out your flour um, or your rice into your bucket. So what I did was I poured my rice out in my bucket and I put bay leaves and um, I don't think I did any oxygen absorbers in that particular bucket, but just my bay leaves and my ones that have the gamma lids on it. I poured my rice straight into my bucket because that's what I saw home um, stead heart do. And I plan on using mine within a year's time. Now, if you want to store your rice longer, now, if you want to store your rice longer, what you would do is go on Amazon or find some type of um, store that sells Mylar bags. So I went on Amazon. I'm sure there are other places that maybe sell long-term food storage. They may have Mylar bags available. Um, I couldn't get my hands on any, but I have not looked recently. And um, I think Karma Granny has a video where she did her Mylar bags and she used the iron and everything to seal hers. So that's if you're trying to do a longer food storage, that will probably, I'm sure, be my next steps because I have a fully stocked um, working pantry for a long-term storage. Um, far as flour, I've heard many YouTubers say flour doesn't last um, an exceptionally long time, but I have watched some videos where they have dry canned their flour in jars and it has lasted them several years. So just use what I can't say what works because I have not done it and I have not experienced it. So I can't tell you guys what works, but just do um, what works best for you. Um, I think what I'm going to do, like with this flour that's in the freezer, I'm going to um, dry can it or either I'm going to just put it in um, an airtight container because those are the only two bags that I have of self-rising flour. So I may just put it in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna put an airtight container because, um, I think I heard someone recently say that the self rising part of it won't last forever. If you, um, if you don't use the flour right away or something like that. So you got to use, that's the reason why you need baking. So I want to say who I saw it and then I'm not quoting them right. Okay guys. So you can find your food break, food grade buckets. I think they have them too on walmart.com. Like if you're not going back out or Amazon, there may be more, but I did get this one from Walmart. And I know some people said go to the bakery at Walmart and see if they will give theirs out. But I know at my son's store, they were not giving them out. And I think at least they charge a dollar. I'm not sure. Um, but I got most of my buckets from the tractor supply store and the gamma lids, but you don't need that. You can get a regular gamma lid, I mean a regular lid like this, but I do see already that it is tough to get this lid off um, now that I put it on and there's nothing in it. So what you also can do is you can leave your food like in the containers that it comes in and you can put it in your bucket or you can pour it out. So I knew I had a place that was cool, dark, and no rodents were gonna get in. So I put it, put it in that place and I knew I was going to use mine within a year's time. And I was just afraid to get, I had one bucket full of flour, but, um, I don't have more than one bucket full of flour because I have all the other ones on the shelves. 
So I was just afraid to get more flour because I was like, well, maybe I should get another flour and fill this up um, today at Sam's. But anyway, y'all, I'll let y'all go. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if that was clear. Um, just let me know. All right, y'all. Bye.